Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, we'll start um, playing with multi-tier connectivity. Multi-tier uh, connectivity is used for um, two or multiple devices communicate, communicating with each other within a short distance, like using whatever available for the device, like Wi-Fi, if you are right within a uh, Wi-Fi coverage or if there's no Wi-Fi there might be um, Bluetooth uh, available so whatever is transparent to our developer um, the for example the device right the Apple device um, make makes a decision like which available which best um, available connect, uh, connectivity or network can be used for the communication yeah so let's get started so here is our connect for iOS project okay so let's see um, let's open we can open the Xcode here like using open connect for dot yeah this is the Xcode project file, so we can open here using yeah like that. Launch it, and uh, okay. Let's see. Let's check our Git status. Yeah, I can also use ST for status. You can Google like uh, how to create this like shorthand. Um, command like a git st for status and a git for example git branch yeah we don't need to do this yeah shorthand okay so yeah we, we don't spend time here now and yeah let's check check status here yeah it's clean so it means everything um everything was already uh checked right checked in under the git um management now so it means we are start from a clean state uh, to add a new code right here is the ipad pro okay so let's run it Before we start, make sure we know where we are. I think we have a, okay, we have a board here. So today we don't worry about the, the UI or the game logic. We'll play with uh, connectivity, multi-peer, multi-peer connectivity. So let's get started. We'll Let's close all of them here. Command W to close each tab here. Close, close. Yeah, now it's clean here, right? Let's go back to view controller. Haha, <laughs> very good. So it's very clean. So to to use multi-peer connectivity, we need to import the corresponding module, module or library or framework. Multi-peer connectivity MC. You see, multi-peer connectivity. Enter. Yeah. Without that, we cannot use right the all the classes inside this framework. Now, we need to we need to confirm three um, protocols. This MC session, MC session, um, delegate, and uh, MC MC means multi peer, right? Like that. So MC session delegate this one 
and another one is MC nearby service advertiser dedicate nearby service advertiser dedicate yeah the third one is nearby service browser dedicate so nearby service browser dedicate is used uh, it will pop up in our app we need a pop up um, user interface right to to select which uh, nearby device we want to communicate with we want to send um, well we want to send our advertise mm, we want to okay we'll talk about that details later yeah and advertiser delegate so for example the 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 two devices right communicating with you have one is the advertiser the other one is the the, the acceptor okay and uh, <clears throat> both of them will use the session service right session is like the um the chatting between the two or multiple devices so that's add one by one okay so session delegate wait for a few seconds there there, there will be a auto type that do not okay so when we click fix you will add all the required mm, functions or method functions right required by this delegate and you see in <coughs> it add how many right it adds one two three four five method functions here right mm. function and uh, method is interchangeable in, in our discussion okay um, method is used for like uh, the function owned by an object okay so <clears throat> using the uh, swift language there's a better way to organize this stuff so we can separate that from from this block using extension so this is same as <clears throat> what we will did we will do next okay so undo undo we can use a better organization so we can keep this part clean <laughs> okay so outside of it we can do extension using oh before that let's rename this guy it's too general uh, this is the default name when we uh, created the by the Xcode when we created the uh, Xcode project let's rename it to our connect the four view controller okay connect the four view controller like that enter so now yeah this is our our own right view controller so let's make a commit for this change Over here so git status renamed okay so git um, check in commit commit this is commit right same as this one dash a so I just use ci a commit so renamed view controller to connect for view controller to make it more specific okay now get this st clean git push okay 
now let's try to add our to adopt the first um, protocol so here we use the same name of the this class it means right yeah we'll do the same thing as what we did a moment ago like to adopt the um, protocol the name of the protocol is MC session delegate like that same thing and the auto complete will help us cool right and we'll just keep it empty for now Did that so we'll use some of them not all of them if we don't use it right if we don't use it we just keep it empty it will do nothing okay let's run it make sure nothing is broken command R okay it works now let's try to add the next um, delegate or protocol so next one extension same our class name um, this class right adopts or confirms conforms conforms to the delegate multi-peer multi-peer connectivity MC uh, nearby service delegate nearby service browser delegate yeah that's what we need waiting for the auto complete yeah oh let's talk of uh take a quick glance of the the functions of this delegate okay session session means the the communication channel you can think about that. you can think of it like that so you see the problem function name or uh, parameter name we can see right did receive data and uh, did receive data yeah and what's this peer did change okay right so this one is easy to guess right when we have the data coming from this communication channel so this function will be triggered so we can we can use the data right provided by the by this function send from our like, platform okay now th this one add oh it adds two functions here nearby yeah found the peer right here is lost peer okay so same thing we don't touch it for now let's keep it empty we just uh, created the, the backbone right structure here skeleton here next one we only need a three extend extension connect four you control it what is the next one nearby service MC uh, nearby service browser advertise uh, nearby yeah nearby uh, nearby service advertiser delegate this guy nearby service advertiser delegate okay yeah the multi-peer connectivity right this service is based on like one guy send out the advertisers and uh, the other guys right answer this um, advertise advertisement 
fix okay there's only one function required so it's did receive invitation advertiser did receive invitation from peer okay yeah so it means when one guy send out advertisement the other one answer it by sending invitation to the original advertiser so now the advertiser is will be notified by this function okay so it will it can accept right or trigger some mm, next step logic okay so now we add three of them let's run it yeah uh, it still works okay so let's check which deployment um, target yeah iOS deployment target 14.1 so it's the latest okay so we'll continue in our next video okay thank you for watching see you next time Today we add, right? We adopt three protocols um, of multi-peer connectivity. Yeah. That's it.